welcome back guys it's day 14 um, today I'm going to do some little paper clips I need to have these for my journal so I thought I'd just go ahead and jump in and try to get um, a few of these done I've got some leftover paper from the Ula Chic that I'm going to use and then I've got a couple little images, you know, just various things I have in my scrap. So this is one I think I'm going to try to use as the background. Actually, let me trim this down a little bit here. And these are the large <coughs> paper clips. I guess you could probably see that. Um, I like to stitch my um, paper clips. So I get everything kind of, um, you know, on here the way I want it, and then I take it through the machine and just run either a zigzag or a straight stitch along it, and that will hold it down really well. It, I just find it, it, it just looks nicer, and um, I think it's more secure that way. Okay, let me get a little bit of coordinating on some of the paper from this kit I want to use. see if I can arrange this the way I like it and we can get these done and then I'll when I go to the machine I'll uh, stop it so you guys don't have to wait for that put this one a little bit longer Everybody's okay. Lots of projects I'm sure going on. So you guys share what you're up to. I always like know, you know, hearing about what everybody's creating because I know the weekends it's a good chance, you know, to get some time in our little happy space. Sorry, this is a bit fiddly because I've got three of these going on here. I'm hoping this is going to look okay. Actually, I can already see. I'm going to swap these two out. I don't know why. I just feel like that's going to look nicer if that's underneath. So This is the way it goes sometimes. You think you've got um, an idea in your mind. And then you try it and think, actually, no, I'm not mad on that. You know what? I'm going to trim this down. That's just too big. Okay, let's see. As you can tell, it doesn't always go to plan. I just kind of like, I don't know, I tried this this morning with these little 
This is just from a completely different bunch of stuff in my stash, and I really liked it. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna. I don't know, it's just a little bit, the contrast I think is just kind of cool. It adds a bit more interest to the paper clip. Ah, we're getting there. Slowly, guys. Yeah, I really, um, I don't want it to be too, too neat. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. Okay, guys, let me just run to the machine. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and do the other one as well, and then we'll come back. So, just so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. That's, and then I'm going to run some stitching and, and do a few more embellishments to it. So, So let me see what else I've got. And I want to carry on with some of these extra bits from the kit. <coughs> I want to get this butterfly in for sure. not thinking I shouldn't have cut that so short because I don't want to cut that butterfly image so let me just see that might be too wide let me trim this down this way. That, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to cut that straight across. I'm going to use that within this image, or within the um, uh, paper clip. That's the word. <laughs> Having another blank. So this one I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to the machine, I'm going to stitch this all the way around, and then I'll come back and add a bit more um, lace to it. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I have now taken this to the machine and just ran a stitch. I've stitched around that, and then I cut out um, this little... fussy cut butterfly and then I've run a, a, a straight stitch down the center that way you can keep the dimension so keep that in mind I do that a lot with the butterflies and that's a great way so that it'll lie flat when the journal's closed and then you know when you're journaling you can just I love I love doing that and then this one all I did here was just added um, that's a zigzag stitch and then I just added that tiny tiny bit of um, trim that I had so there's just a couple more um, embellishments ready for the journal I can't wait to get um, to get this journal out so you guys can uh, let me just grab one so you can see what they'll look like in. Ooh, 
do do do. Here we go. It's a page. So there you go. You can get an idea of what that's going to look like within the journal. Love that. Really pleased with that. And that was just a little <coughs> couple. That's some cheesecloth and a couple little bitty um, scrappy bits of uh, seam binding ribbon. So don't throw those things out, guys, because you can always use them for something. So there you go. And um, ah, little by little. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks again for joining me. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.